All right, this is David here today. We are doing a just a kind of blind first look reaction to the entire, I think it's the entire, I don't know. It, it says that there's five figures missing. I don't know if those are main set figures of Avengers Forever. Um, this is the Hero Click set that will be having its pre-release this weekend. Hopefully for any of your local shops, if you've got pre-release, you'll be going to those pre-release events this weekend. I have not seen a single figure out of this set except for the like two or three that we saw from the Worlds announcement. So I'm gonna be looking to also, obviously I've seen the Captain America, but I've been looking at the past five minutes all set and stuff. But we're gonna be going through this and pointing out anything that I think is interesting. We'll look at everybody here and I'll just give my first reactions to all these figures. So this is the uh, Captain America figure we're looking at. We got running shot, we've got some outwits and toughness, combat reflexes, charge. It goes from a range piece to a melee piece, looks like five range, two targets. Avengers, team ability kind of sucks ass. Um, we've got this team up. If he's part of a Avengers team, then they all get Avengers initiative. That's the stealth busting one, so that's not bad. With his outwit, you can outwit the stealth just on him. Eh, that doesn't seem bad. Energy shield deflection is leadership traded. Uh, the 45 point lane loses the outwit. You're just the melee piece, but you do still have that double targeting when you charge up. You can charge Quake. You've got energy shield deflection and combat reflex. So your defense is a 19, you're still the three. And when you drop down to the two damage, you pick up your close combat expert, which could be outwitted. You have willpower. I mean, he seems like a decent, solid common figure. That's probably what we're gonna say for most of these. Shield operative, 15 points of shield team ability. That's all we're looking at here. That's very obvious to anybody who's one of these faces. And 15 points of hydro team ability. Hydro team ability is not as good. Oh no, this one's fine. It's like the police team ability. Uh, hydro team ability is pretty good. Um, I like both those pieces. It's 15 points. This is a uh, running shot pulse wave. Wait a minute. This is a little good. Hydro agent's a little good. Uh, I don't really care about this stealth shit. This hydro agent's a little a little good. Uh, glad that they didn't give these keyword, these stats to the uh, shield team. Kind of like this hydro agent. Winter soldier, we got a team player. He's got this uh, movement thing, stealth, plasticity, place him in a square pinter train with his range on the fire. Five. That is good. That is quite good. This free teleporting is always really good on any figure, basically. You can team player him and some shenanigans there. 60 points for... Well, you know what? You teleport him up next to them. It's weird that he's got energy explosion, close combat expert, and then when he picks up ranged combat expert, he loses an energy flood. There's definitely a conflicted dial, which I think is the only thing that's going to really hold this figure back. But otherwise, the teleporting is really nice. Hawkeye, uh, this is Clint Barton Hawkeye, has a trade in follow up, once per fall character follow up trait, make an attack using printed values, one target single character that was hit by another character. Um, not bad if you could get him onto this precision strike click. Um, because uh, since you only target a single character, I'm not sure on the exact rolling if you can energy explode off that. If you can, then I like that. If you can't, you really want him on this third click. It doesn't look like he has a lower dial, I'm trying to swap him there right away. You got the penetrating, you get the pulse wave at the end. Pulse wave is not bad, but he's going to be high this when you get there. But it is a 13 attack pulse wave at range 4. So, you know, there's something to be said there if you do get him on that last one. Falcon, we got uh, team up Captain America, the list of friendly characters on the map. Falcon has three, make an attack with the character, and by the character. So he has like follow up with just Captain America. Again, this third point line is the line that I actually like. I, I'm not a big fan of these conflicted melee to range to melee dials. I'm not, not a big fan of those. Does have traded super senses on a four through six for range attacks, and normally for close attacks. All right, and then he's got the 19 for, oh no, he goes, so he's just not gonna get hit in range because he goes to the 19 with a 50% rollout on super senses. All right, I mean, he's nice on the defense, and if you can get him to the third point, he's got the complex and the running shot, he's not bad. Seems like it's a little hard to get him down. The mindless one is 15 points of a uh, Empower Mystic. That, this looks a little dangerous for Mystic teams. Just This is going to be the Moloid for Mystic's teams. I can already tell. Plasticity, Mystics, three clicks for 15 points. This piece is, this is going to be a nice little splash piece for Mystic's teams. Or, or monster teams, even. Yeah, that's uh, that's another monster. Another monster piece. Gorilla Man! Uh, follow up with Wakandas. Okay. So we've got Avengers and Wakandas in here. That's, that's nice. Uh, we've got the plasticity with a flurry, no, no movement attack, need this figure. I mean, the plasticity is nice because you can run them up next to them. Nine movement's not crazy good, you're gonna have to, you can't get to them on your first turn, really. Uh, you're gonna have to get to them on your second turn, that's a little annoying. Um, then you can, if you run up next to them, they can't break away because you have plasticity, they hit you with a flurry, but you flurry black, you hope that they do four damage to you so that you can blaze them. Um, and if they do more than that, you don't worry about using anymore. Uh, I wish this, this one here was also Lance. It would have been nicer. Patriot, we got team up with the Young Avengers. If they're more friendly characters, so the Young Avengers are on the map. First time each friendly character be KO'd instead of the last non KO. That's really good. Um, okay. Just, okay. I don't know how many other Young Avengers we have already in the game. So he's got defend leadership on an 18. Not crazy high. I wish that was a 19 on his top one. But. 
This team up ability alone is reason to run this character on a Young Avengers team. There's enough. If there is maybe even a single Young Avengers hard carry piece at like our higher rarity pieces, this Patriot gets a lot more value. Uh, if not, I don't really see it. Uh, speed, we get another Young Avenger. As a free action, roll a d6. Move them to number of squares that results. That's pretty good. It is a move, so you do have to obey breakaways and other stuff like that. But we've got the Hypersonic. Uh, it's not a move action, so his Avengers team really doesn't come in. Um, We've got the Shape Change Super Senses, very annoying character to hit with a Hypersonic. He's a melee Hypersonic piece that does not ignore characters, so we just have to take a break away. He doesn't have plasticity. Uh, yeah, I mean, 45 points, not bad. Astral Doctor Strange, 15 points of uh, enhancement, I guess, but with no Mystic Team ability. If he had Mystic Team ability, this might be a little too strong, not gonna lie, but so much he added. Black Panther, Team of Avengers, he's part of the list of Team Ability, friendly character modified defense, plus one that's your starting area than any other starting area. That's interesting. That's not bad. Okay, uh, we've got Charge Flurry Stealth, only the Occupy's Hindering Terrain. Okay, we don't have Blades on that click. We do have Leadership, and we don't have Blades on either of the Charge Flurry Blades. No Charge Flurry Blades for your common piece. Not awful. Um, this is an interesting team ability. I'm not sure exactly how I feel about it. Uh, then we got the lower point Black Panther, where he starts with the... Uh, yeah, just 25 points of a not bad uh, attacker on a Leadership piece. You just hide him in Stealth, run him out, try and trade. You got your Leadership the whole time. Not bad. We got Wongers here. Uh, if Wong and the listed friendly character on the map, Dr. Strange with Wolfie's Mastermind, but only to target uh, friendly mysticals. That's pretty good. If we can get a Dr. Strange, this wasn't, I assume that this doesn't work with like Dr. Strange Supreme and stuff like that, uh, but 40 points of mystical uh, is not bad. And then phase to teleport once per turn when a different friendly character with the mystic skewer begins a move. After resolution, you teleport more next to them so he can use his enhancement or his support. Uh, and it does not take up his move, so you can still do his power action. It's going to show the willpower. Plus that uh, mastermind. Um, yeah, I mean, the, this team ability with Doctor Strange seems pretty strong. There's a couple of good Doctor Stranges already, and I assume we're going to get at least one more in this set that's decent to look at. Iron Man, defend, energy shield deflections, vulnerability. Yeah, this is just a classic Iron Man piece, just kind of stats, like a classic common Iron Man piece where it's just going to stat stick you. Um, no movement attack is a little disappointing, but that's fine. And just with our Guardians keyword and our rally all friendly twos. Free action, you remove one of a rally die. Remove an action of the perfectly friendly character within range and line of fire range four. That's not bad. That's like a guaranteed leadership without the uh, plus one to your action total for 25 points on both Avengers, Cosmics, Guardians, teams. Avengers, this, this is a not bad common piece. You get the incapacitate. If they do run, dual target incapacitate, they run at you. Super senses so that you're a little harder to hit and the perplex. Not bad with just this. Just th this is going to happen every turn, basically. Not bad, I kind of like this Mantis a lot. This is a really good support piece for 25 points. Wonder Man! If Wonder Man and the list of friendly characters are on the map, Beast, uh, both modify attack and damage, plus one. That's pretty good. All right, we'll have to see what Beast this set gives us, because I assume we're getting a Beast. Um, we pay an extra five points to put him for 70 when he would be KO'd. You may still replace him with Avengers forever. 27 Wonder Man on click. Uh, number nine, and then roll a D6 and kill him. All right, that seems not bad. Uh, we'll have to look at that dial, obviously, when we get there. Um, I wonder if this team up ability will carry through if you're playing on the dual Wonder Man. Uh, if it does, this is very, very interesting piece for 70 points. Um, as kind of a, like, invincible outwit. It's pretty annoying. Masters of Evil, Avengers? Not bad. Pretty good on a melee, or melee focus team. This figure's interesting. Uh, not crazy by itself, but definitely not bad. Red Guardian, uh, you can team up on a soldier theme team. If he's on a soldier theme team at the beginning of your turn, you choose a power or enhancement friendly character to the Winter Guard team with music shows a character that you choose. That is crazy. I assume there's not a whole lot of Winter Guards out already. Um, but if you have a soldier theme team with like three Winter Guards, you just all choose enhancement and whatever soldier you want does a billion damage. That's a little spooky. The soldier team theme ability. It's pretty good. Energy shield deflections and vulnerability. Once per game, when Red Guardian or just from the character will be hit, they may evade the attack instead. Okay, so you just fucking dodge. Uh, there's a few different characters that do stuff when they dodge an attack. And this is once per game. Um, but this is not like a soldier or a winter guard. This 50 point piece seems crazy on soldier team. This piece alone, at an uncommon is like an entire reason to build a soldier team if you have one. Uh, we'll definitely be building a team around this because uh, we'll probably pull one as an uncommon. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out. I, I want to build around this Red Guardian. This, this piece is a little fucking gross. Marie Hill, we got the shield, shield team ability, uh, some stealth, precision strike, will power five targets, not bad, 30 points. Maria Hill and Nick Fury, they can both use Mastermind, but the shield guys, not bad. Yeah, not bad. 
Uh, we got the leadership, which you use it succeeds. You may instead generate a shield operative on click one. Uh, if a six was rolled, you can also remove an action token from each friendly character named shield operative. And our shield operative is our kind of melee beast. I hope there's a hydra one. Is this would be if there's a if there's a hydra summoner? I mean, obviously there's probably going to be. Is it this hydra officer? Yeah, it is. Okay. This piece of is 25 points to just summon pulse waivers. Um, that seems a little good. I don't know about you. He's got stealth too, so you can't even. Oh my god. Okay. He's got stealth mastermind. So you hide him in stealth. He summons a guy next to him, and you just sit there waiting, summoning more guys that will just run out and pulse wave your opponent's team. And then when they do run up to you. You just mastermind the little idiot and have the rest of your guy, you blades him back and have the rest of your idiots kill him. Uh, this piece, this piece looks a little good. Definitely for like, um, pre-release sealed stuff, this piece is gonna be crazy. Um, yesterday you pull a couple of the Hydra agents to summon him off of him, but this is, this is a, a good piece for 25 points on a soldier team. Well, would you look at that? We might be running this with our Red Guardian. Bucky, Bucky and Captain America are on the map. They both use Reflex. That's not bad. Especially if we'll start with a wit. Uh, that's pretty good. At least not a common uh, Captain America. This can be used with any Captain America. There are some damn good Captain Americas out. Including, I believe, the Falcon from... The Falcon Chase from Disney Plus is just called Captain America. I don't believe he's called Falcon. So, uh, this would be a very good figure to pair with him. Uh, probably going to want that on the lower dial, assuming that we have the ability still to be able to use that at the 50-point line. Uh, but then he's got traded Super Senses. When he uses it, it succeeds after resolution from reduction of the that's not bad. That's pretty good. Uh, Hawkeye. When Hawkeye attacks a single target, and misses after resolution from the character, one penetrate damage. All right, that's not bad. We got the team player uh, to pick up that. We got super senses on the 18. Pretty good. Um, so I mean, you're always doing damage, and it's one penetrating damage versus the three damage. So if you're attacking anything except for invincible, you're hitting them. Now shape change does get around this because you can't target a figure that succeeds on their shape change. But this is a really good uh, super senses buster because either you're hitting them for three, or if they hit their roll, you're hitting them for one still. So that's pretty good. I like this Hawkeye as a, a cheap little fuck around and find out piece, basically. Doctor Strange, we got our first Doctor Strange for the set. Bring in help from the multiverse leadership. When he succeeds, you can summon an astral Doctor Strange on click one of six was rolled. You instead can summon a Wong. Uh, you instead generate a Avengers Forever uh, Wong on click one if there isn't any friendly. Okay, okay. Uh, then we've got the Cloak of Levitation. We've got Telekinesis. Telekinesis as free, but only to target himself. Okay, this is not the next Venom Magneto. Uh, and then we've got Keeping the Time Zone, ESD, and Super Senses on that 18. Yep, this is definitely a range piece. We've got the Defenders, we've got Mystics, we've got some Perplex and Outwit, going into systems of support, which would be funny. Um, you can generate the Wongers, um, and then I, I assume that you cannot use the team up ability unless Wong starts on your force, but you might be able to just run that team up ability on the side, and then when you generate Wong, it gets into play, and then both Wong and Doctor Strange have the mastermind, two mystics, uh, which is pretty good, especially since these actual Doctor Stranges are also going to be mystics, so you can mastermind down to them. So that seems like an interesting build around um, for more casual play. Let's check out the lower dial. Yeah, we just get the one. Um, perplex, you know, I don't like this dial as much. It feels like if you're going to run him. I mean, if you want to hide him in the back and just roll your leadership rolls, this is fine. But if you want to run him, I feel like you're going to run him at the uh, 75 point line. I wouldn't even be mad if this was 100 points, honestly. This is pretty nice. Uh, assuming you're hitting your leadership rolls, obviously. Reptile, uh, 40 points, very short dial. Beginning of your turn, you may turn until you click one, two, or three. Reptile will be KO by imposing effect. We roll a d6, four to six, turn one to seven. That is very hard to kill. Let's see, we've got a Flurry Quake line, which is not bad. We've got a charge blades line, and we've got a hypersonic scissors strike line. This thing seems pretty annoying, and he is an Avenger, so we can use the uh, Avengers buff stuff from War of the Realms to give him stealth and super senses. Uh, super senses shape change on this annoying flurry quake piece. Pretty nice. This reptile is a unique for a reason. I like that thing. Vision. Once per game is a power action, you can generate up to two visions on click nine. If you just started the game on click nine, it can't uh, generate characters to point value zero for all things. Okay, I mean, point value of zero for all effects is pretty good, especially on a 45 point piece. You can just swarm the board. Even though it's once per game, you can start this off at the very beginning of the game. Um, you pick up this in power. Uh, otherwise, he's the exact same abilities here. The numbers are a little different. You just generate two of them at the beginning of the game and have your melee pieces fly off into your opponent, carrying a vision hologram, giving them that in power, while the main one will give your range attacker an enhancement. They've got the super senses, so they're a little hard to kill. Also, the worst zero points, so your opponent doesn't really want to dedicate attacks into them. Um, they want to, like, super senses or quake into these things. But. This is, uh, he's also a Young Avenger. We got the Young Avengers keyword here to go with our previous Young Avengers bullshit piece. Uh, so yeah, this seems decent. Iron Lad, assumedly, also Young Avenger, yep. I uh, got free follow-up with Young Avengers. All right, so this would go on the Young Avengers 
build around. We've got the uh, probability control. Let's get the lower dial here. Yep, we still got probability control on the starting dial. I think I'm going to like this 50-point dial a bit better. Invulnerable, super senses, willpower. Yep, I, I was correct. Uh, we've got the penetrating. We've got the running shot, 50 points. This piece, this piece is pretty good. We got the range combat expert to kick our damage back up to a three. Uh, well, we've got our phasing. We don't have our movement attack, but range six is not awful. That's not bad. That's not bad. Plus, we get to do the uh, follow-up trait. The follow-up trait will not be using our range combat expert uh, buffs, so it's their printed combat values. But uh, this, oh, he's also counts with this money. Um, yeah, this piece looks pretty good on the Young Avengers team. Not gonna lie. We got the Nick Fury here. Team up shield abilities. It's part of shield team ability. Once per turn, a friendly character with shield keyword can use. Once per turn, a friendly character with a shield keyword can use as free. What can they use as free? The shield, the shield keyword. If they can use the shield keyword as free the shield team ability is free that's that's bullshit let's see nope there's no comments on it okay um yeah so if this is being able to use the team ability this is bullshit uh in a in a very strong way uh 50 points for a six point dial with perplex and outwit uh leadership you can summon the shield operatives on click one maybe it says i have to help that's fine um which will then funny enough uh start summoning more shield operatives um that's very funny i do like this this is, this is a very funny little chain thing then you get going um, and then going underground, he's got regeneration, super senses, willpower on the back half when he's got the stealth out wit. Um, yeah, this is going to push shield teams a little harder, I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, that's that's definitely something. This is the Wonder Man that we turn into with our Ionic uh, reviving. So we go to click 9 and then we heal up to 3 clicks. So we're always, we're almost always hitting that hypersonic way. Sometimes we're going to our charge super senses. I, I don't like this click. I mean, this is nice because you got the mystic ability. You're unlikely to die just from there unless they have penetrating. But this click seems a little more interesting to me. The hypersonic with a 12 uh, precision strike 3 damage is quite nice. Um, I don't really like this piece to be just be running 100. Uh, look, don't really like this piece just to be running 100. Um, I don't know, it's not. It's, a, it's It doesn't seem like a bad dial. You've got invulnerable though, uh, invincible, so you're just gonna get like two shot by anything with penetrating, three, three shot by anything with penetrating. Um, not awful at 100, but I, I would rather my 100 point lines be a little splash here, personally. Then we got Drax. I will not fight that creature unless Drax is the only character on your force when you would pay an opposing character to attack instead and turn them to their last non character like to kill Drax in two clicks. Uh huh. So we can't ever get a kill. Can't ever kill anything. That's interesting. 45 points, charge blades, super senses when Drax uses it and succeeds after a solution to the attack for one penetrating damage. Okay, so that's how you, that's how you kill someone. Uh, I didn't kill you, could you? Okay, combining this guy on a Guardians team with somebody like an energy exploder could be quite interesting, could be quite nice. Uh, we got Crimson Dynamo. Uh, Crimson Dynamo to just friendly character's defense, power attack, attack, attack. Um, that's an unoutwittable invincible for 75 points. Okay, this piece, soldier, soldier piece, winter guard, both notable keywords here. I like this piece a lot. This piece is a little strong, um, protecting your guys from outwits. Mindful one, friendly on, rally on, friendly ones, move two of mindful ones, rally die, generate a mindless one. Then for our special defense ability, we got defend, toughness, magician, friendly characters have mystics team ability? Uh, on a monster, wait, what's his lower dial? 25 points to, okay, okay, no, okay. It's not traded. It's not traded. It's just on the top two. Okay. Okay. 40 points to give all of your monsters Mystic Steam ability. That's pretty fucking good. That's still really good. Uh, this might have to go into our Giants Monsters team that I am a fan of on this channel. Blue Marvel. You've been playing Marvel Snap. This piece of fucking menace. Anyways, I'm back to figure. Antimatter, energy absorption, force, blast, pulse, wave. Okay, trade a pulse wave. Blue Marvel started for a range attack after resolution, heal in one click, and remove an action. Oh, interesting. That was the lower dial. The bigger dial has invincible. Okay, so this is going to be the Doctor Strange of sealed. Uh, if you pull this thing, if you pull this thing, you win. But it's also a rare, not a, a con, a, not uncommon. Uh, he also has two stop clicks with invulnerability, regeneration, super senses. All right, all right. With an outwit. This is just like a beat your opponent into the ground. Oh my god, he's a soldier. Okay, this is a beat your. This is just like a stat stick figure. Um, you're not doing anything super quirky. Like you're doing the healing thing and removing action token. So your opponent can't attack him. Also, he's always moving. And he's got the cosmic energy, so he's always moving anyways. So um, this, yeah, this is just gonna stat check your opponent. Um, and you know what? It's got some pretty good stats to do that with. Stashu, uh, stinging protocol. As free action, choose one. Statue can use just effects until you choose again. Uh, this ability is protect pulse wave. I have a close combat expert and giant damage symbol. Which is not bad because I believe that will give you the giant reach, range combat expert, rank four, rank four, and tiny damage symbol. All right, so you can you can go big or go small basically. Um, charge plasticity with shape change, not bad, nothing super exciting. Prodigy, we got our first X Men. 
Uh, rally on opposing fives, like all X-Men should. When another friendly character within range and line of fire would roll a single D6, you may replace that die with this five. That's quite good. That can replace the blades, super senses, shape changes, leaderships. That's quite good. That's quite good. I'm sure there's also, because this is just when they would roll single D6. Like, this can replace regenerations. This can replace the uh, the healing stuff whenever your guys are KO'd and you roll D6. This, this can replace some random shit. This is pretty nice on the Rally 5. Just keeping, like, one of these under at any point in time. For 35 points, it's not bad at all. When opposing character within six squares in line of fire makes an attack, if you choose a standard power, the attack can be used, and use the chosen power. Okay. Uh, and this does not have to be targeting her. Uh, so you just copy their shit when they attack you. And it's not a displayed standard power, it's just a standard power they can use. So if it's hidden inside of a trait or something like that, you can still grab it. And super sense will fire. This piece looks very funny to combo with Mimic because you get to copy powers and then Mimic takes up the whole game and then Prodigy can switch up the power and then Mimic can copy that for the whole game. Uh, this is going to be funny to roll with Mimic. And also she can uh, use uh, this D6 or Mimic's either Super Senses or Impervious as well as a Blaze Cost Fang roll if you take that on as well. This Prodigy seems like a really good pair for 35 points to go with Mimic. Uh, puts them just under 100 points on the low dial for Mimic because he's 60 points for 95 points. Pretty good core there. Of ability. And you don't mind healing with her. She's the exact same all the way down. So she's a prime user of that active ability. Novar. Uh, we've got traded super senses. And we can team player that onto a Wonder Woman if we're uh, cross, crossing factions. Uh, stop and vulnerable willpower after resistance of any action if he isn't the only friendly character on the map. You KO him. Huh. If he's not the only friendly character on the map, you KO him. So if he is the only friendly character on the map, you don't KO him. Oh, this is the stop play. Okay, okay, okay. So if he's if he's the only one left alive, he's fine. But otherwise, he blues after the after resolution of any action. Yeah. So your opponent just stop clicks him and then free action sidesteps and he kills himself. All right, that's not great. Battle for your close combat expert uh, on that on that ability, assuming he ever lives. Which I don't think he's going to. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like this piece. Uh, the killing yourself is not bad. Is is I mean, it's not good. This is I don't like this. Miss Marvel friendly twos would oppose a character in the line of fire roll a single d6. Replace that. Okay, so this is the Avengers version. I mean, I believe it. Uh, what was it? Stature? No, it's Prodigy. Yeah, Prodigy's an Avenger. In here. No, Prodigy's not. Okay, she's a young Avenger, not an actual Avenger. So Miss Marvel is how you get this ability on the actual Avengers. Um, but it's for opponents because you're giving them twos. Okay, okay, I like that. This can force your opponent to fail uh, clutch willpower or leadership roles uh, within within line of fire. So not within range, you can just, as long as you have an infinite line of fire to them, you just go, no, I think you missed now. And then we can either go tiny, normal, or giant with defense plus one or tiny, and you're getting the tiny plus defense, you're a 20 invulnerable or impervious, I mean, that's pretty good. I like that. Precision strike, standard damage symbol, close combat expert, command symbol. Uh, yeah, this is not bad. This is a pretty funny little, uh, also a young Avengers piece. You can run this and Prodigy. Uh, just fuck with every single, single D6 roll in the game. A um, little nice uh, for our... Yeah, okay, good. I wanted to see that impervious on the low dial because I wanted to run this thing on the low dial just to get access to this rally and just keep her in tiny mode. So she's a 19 impervious with a shape change. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. The Red Widow. Blades Claws Fangs. Once per turn when Red Widow uses it and rolls a like 1 or 2, you should make a pretty close attack. Okay, you, I believe you don't get the Blades Claws Fangs on that second one. Um, we got Charge Flurry Stealth. Okay, so we're... So we're charging... We're, we're hiding in stealth. We're then charging at them with a flurry, blades, claws, fangs. And then if she uh, uses a one or a two, um, she may make a second close attack. So you can make up to three attacks. If you roll one and two on both, this is a once per turn, so you don't get to make four attacks there. Um, but you get to do two blades rolls with a 12 attack. Penetrating. Okay, I like this piece. Uh, yeah, this is uh, charge, flurry, blades, exploit, weakness, but you're making three attacks. And you're stealth. Yeah, this thing is fucking crazy. Uh, soldier. Soldier goes on a soldier team. I like this guy a lot. Kazar. They really just took all of the fingers and worms to have fun. All right, uh, one with the Savage Land. At the beginning of the game, you generate a Zabu when Kazar is given a move action. After resolution, you may move another friendly character with a shared keyword or friendly Zabu up to half a speed. That's pretty good. It's a move action specifically. Uh, he does have charge, so you can charge. I I can't remember my exact rules. I'm not sure if that's considered a move action. It might be. Um, and then after resolutions, you can either have Zabu move half at speed, which looking at Zabu here is an eight, and then it'll charge and make a close attack with only target character. So it's okay, that's pretty fucking good. So you're making a lot of attacks here. You charge up with Kazar, and you punch them, and then you move Zabu up, and then Zabu charges up, and then he frees and attacks again with a Blades, Battle Fury. Um, not bad, not bad. We've got Leadership. When he succeeds, after resolutions, you can either generate another Zabu, or move a friendly Zabu from the house. This is not a replacement of the Leadership, so you're still going to get the successful Leadership roll off. And we've got the team player. We've got Blades on both of these guys. Yeah, okay. This is not bad. For 50 points, this is pretty fucking good. A good, good little unique spot there. Mockingbird, if Mockingbird is with Hawkeye, we got Barbara Morse. Bobby, as a free attack, you can make an attack on the target here. Hit by a 
So we've got Hawkeye follow up on this one. We've got the bow staff, charge, leap climb, stealth. All right, uh, we've got Wakanda, Avengers, shield, spy. We've got the shield capability to go with our Hawkeye. So we're standing next to Hawkeye. Hawkeye shoots farther. Then, um, then Mockingbird can charge up and then hit them with a precision strike, close combat expert. Then free attack to make another precision strike, close combat expert. This was hit by a friendly character named Hawkeye. So that Hawkeye that we were looking at earlier that does the penetrating damage and he misses, just won't be able to trade. He doesn't have to actually successfully hit on that attack. But that's not bad. Also, she's got stealth, so she kind of stealth the whole time. Pretty good. I like this. I like this Mockingbird. Baron Mordo, we've got Defend, Super Sense is Toughness, Defend only 18, it's not incredible, we've got a Mystics. Leadership Perplex, when he uses it and succeeds, we generate a Mindless one, if a 6 was rolled, you can generate a, a bigger Mindless one. And, uh, to heal, okay, you may KO a friendly Mindless one, to heal Baron Mordo or a friendly character named Dormammu, 2 clicks. Alright, 2 clicks on the heal, that's not bad. Run a few Mindless ones on your actual main force to make sure that if you get that 6, you can get that off. Uh, you're, we'll have to see Dormammu, I'm assuming he's a, a super or higher, maybe even a chase. Um, we've got Defend, Super Senses, Toughness. The Defend on those, uh, the Mindless ones is pretty nice, because the Mindless ones, are they're the, the, the quick number seven are the Mystics, uh, the Mystics Enhancement ones. Or the Mystics Empower ones, I believe. Uh, he's a range piece, so Dormammu's a melee piece, this, the value on this piece goes up a lot. And we can run him on just the one to click here, 40 points to summon guys, that's not bad. Star-Lord, team of the Guardian, Star-Lord's on Guardian, and a friendly Guardian, misses an attack, gives Star-Lord a plan token. If we can move up to three, there should be 12. What percentage? I don't know, 12%. 12%?! <laughs> uh, plan tokens until your next turn, Star-Lord can use Perplex, can use it another time, kill the room, plan tokens, Jesus Christ. Move up to three plan tokens. Okay, so he's just gonna super perplex your whole team while you're under Guardian's team ability and are unfuckable. And then we've also got a, a Guardian's a Recruiter. I don't believe we have a Guardian's Recruiter. Yeah, this is really good for 100 points. That's not bad at all. Uh, at the beginning of your turn, choose two. Starlord can use a chosen effect to fill you again. Energy Sheet Explosion, Precision Strike, Pulse Wave, and bring up back all the Precision Characters with two squares. That's really good. Because now he can always make range attacks. You just free knock them all back. And then you can running shot wherever you want with this 12. That's pretty nice. So he can't be run up on. He's got initial deflections when he gets run up. If he gets charged on, he's probably taking a couple minutes. He's got a long ass dial. Star Lord, okay, so we we can 30 point if we just want the little recruiter guy, um, and like technically the part of a plan. But if you're not running him as just solely a recruiter, this 100 point line is not awful. I don't hate this 100 point line. 12 attack, 4 damage, 18 defense with an ESD, it's triple target, 6 attack, 6 range, sorry. That's not bad. I don't I don't hate this at all. Especially when you get the energy explosion, precision strike. You can precision strike just like target all three. That's pretty good. A pulse wave, a 12 attack pulse wave, not bad, definitely not bad. We got Ant Man, Scott Lang, uh, running away from Earth. We've got a stealth when an adjacent character is given a move or power action. Precision strike can be placed Ant Man adjacent to the character. This is really, really good. Uh, move or power action, which means that their power action can be running shot, and then you just teleport next to them, and then you only have stealth. You don't have charge, but if you can give this guy charge or something like that, uh, not bad, not bad. We've got the outweigh. He's also just like a free teleporter on the map, outweigh guy. Invincible Ant Man as our first prime here, prime version of Ant Man. This is Tony Stark's Ant Man. Got a lot to look through here. 75 points, weaponized robot ants at the beginning of the game, generate a robot ant now by Sander. When he hits with a range attack after resolutions, generate a robot ant by Sander. And a square adjacent to the hit target. Okay. Are these things autonomous? They are autonomous. They're autonomous poison. Okay. They've been generated this turn, not played, so they're going to poison. And then they can attack if they really want to. But that poison is going to be quite nice. And also. He's tiny, not flying. The robot ants are tiny, flying. So you have the robot ant carry the invincible ant man on that he makes the beginning of the game. Not bad. Uh, free, choose one. He's chosen effects to choose again. Super senses, defense plus one. And again, we've got that tiny, so this is a 20. Super senses, invincible. Or standard damage symbol, attack and damage plus one. Okay, not bad. Definitely going to see him on the super senses, defense up, click for a while at the beginning of the game. And then he's going to click to that other one, or switch over to that other one in the mid game. All right, sorry for the background noise, guys, but uh, we'll walk into where I'm recording. Um, so, uh, when a Vincent Man uses it, uh, Pulse Wave, we choose, uh, we choose to use it as if he also occupied the squares of all his robot ant bison. That is crazy. Uh, yeah, all of his Ant-Man robot ant bison. If you do, the, there are three or more robot ant bison on the map. Hit characters are two damage instead of one after those kill. Okay, no more robot bison. But still, that's pretty good. Um, when he hits with a range attack, I wonder if there's ways to make, make more range attacks. Interesting. And we've got a stack click as well. I like this piece a lot. Obviously, it's a rare prime. Uh, nice to see that we don't have any primes underneath rare slot, but this is pretty good. Uh, then we got Claw, Master of Evil, Power, Generate Sound, Construct, Blocking Terrain Marker, and a square within range, Line of Fire. Max one. Uh, place a sound construct in another square within pause range, Line of Fire, making a close attack using the sound construct. Super Senses four through six. When he uses it and fails, you reduce the damage taken equal to the result. That's crazy. That's really good. 
So when you fail, so if you four through six and it's protected out with, that's really good. This piece is gonna be hard as hell to kill. This is just a pulse wave piece. This is just a max, max out pulse wave piece. Yeah, we can get him on the on the defense there too. Sora's man, we've got here, we've got Jacques de Gaulle. Uh, I'm not gonna pronounce that. Pretend that I pronounced that correctly. Uh, Blaze Claws Fangs, when uh, Sword's Man uses it, I'm just giving him a hope not that built in capacity. Uh, yep, okay. And then Combat Reflex is tough as Super Senses, only for close attacks. Super Senses, only for close attack. Miss by close attack. Okay, so this is like the other version of Hawkeye. I don't really like this as much as Hawkeye. Prime Swordsman, let's look at it. Uh, friendly bystanders within range, modify attack plus one. Range six, cosmic. Interesting. Like this piece already. Uh, if a friendly character named Kui is on the map, friendly bystanders within range, modify defense plus one. Hell yeah! This goes, I assume there's a Kui from this set. This would be very dumb if there isn't, but this can backlog to the previous Kui from, I believe, or the realms. Uh, that's very funny. Uh, super senses on a four through six. Swordsmen are adjacent friendly characters missed by a close attack after resolution steal the attacker one penetrated damage. It's traded, so that's pretty good. Let's cause fangs free, choose one. Swordsman can use the chosen effect until choosing it. There's a lot of this kind of effect in the set. Jesus Christ. All right, energy explosion, incapacitate, penetrate, attack, blast, poison, precision strike. You get to choose one. All right, so it just gives you a little bit of adaptability. We've got our shape change with our cosmic energy, so you can't outwit this. 12 attack only on that first click. Um, yeah, this piece is funny. I'm going to run this piece just for this. Uh, I want this piece just for that. Bit. Red Skull, Hail Hydra. Uh, when Red Skull uses it and succeeds, he makes the Hydra agent. Otherwise, he makes the Hydra officer. This is like the, um, the Nick Fury that we saw earlier where you can... Uh, leadership chain down to your a million Hydra agents. And Hydra agent I like a lot better. Um, so yeah, as our like random pulse wave thing. We've got this defense power, combat reflexes, mastermind toughness. Once per turn, when you use the mastermind to choose a friendly character behind the keyword, and the character is KO'd from the attack, and for you make you make two Hydra agents on click three. What's that click three? Is that a pulse wave click? Hydra agent. Pulse wave! Dude, we're 10 attack pulse waving. Oh my god. This piece. Give me the Hydras. Give me the Hydras. The lower point, 40 point. We've still got it. We've still got that willpower. Oh my god. This is crazy. You just start him, you can't kill him. You can't kill him. It's once per turn, but you can't kill him. You master him. So you play 40 points, you play one of the Hydras just on your main team, or somebody else who's like 10 fucking points and has one click that just has a little utility thing. And then you've got Outwit, you've got Close Combat Expert Outwit, that's fine. Um, even if you miss your turn one leadership role, they run up, they punch him. Uh, you mastermind to the other random guy, then you make two more. Then even if they punch him again, you just mastermind those, kill those guys. You don't keep chaining in that turn. They have to stick four attacks into him to kill him to do any damage to him. This, this Red Skull is hot. I mean, obviously they'll just outwit the mastermind, but this Red Skull is hot with any kind of possessor that can give the the uh, quintessence or something so you can't outwit him. I like this Red Skull a lot. For Hulk, we've got a 200 point line uh, piece with 11 clicks and a bunch of colors. Gamma Clap, once per range attack, when a Hulk or an adjacent friendly character would be hit, you may roll 2d6. And if you do, and your roll is equal to or greater than the attacker's finalized attack roll, okay, that's just their roll, the attack automatically misses all targets and after that, you deal one penetrating damage to the attacker. The Hulk or adjacent friendly character would be hit. Okay, so they have to successfully hit you. Him or an adjacent character, once per, per attack, yeah, okay. Um, interesting. Three stop clicks, regeneration impervious, succeeds on four through six, and can reduce penetrating damage. Safeguard out with Hulk, all Hulk has safeguard out with. Battle Fury, Close Combat Expert, Jesus Christ. No Hurt Hulk Friend. Okay. Um, so that Battle Fury is very important if you can deal two damage to him. Uh, I think this thing starts killing Thanos. Um, this piece is nuts. He's 200 points, so it's a billion points. But, Jesus Christ, this thing is going to be crazy. Uh, Echo. This is the Phoenix Echo that we've already seen a little bit. Um, at the beginning of your turn, you can give Echo a... Uh, give an Echo token to another character within range, moving on any other characters. Echo can use the display standard powers of the character with Echo token. All of displayed standard powers. So if they're hidden in a trait or hidden in a uh, special defense power, she cannot get those. That is still fine, though. She's got the stop click with an invincible. Uh, 100 points for this. Not bad. I like this a lot. She-Hulk. Um, when determining first player, if you aren't the first player, this game modifies attack and defense plus one. We go to a 12 and a 20 invincible. That's pretty nice. Charge plasticity. Okay, here's Jenny. Uh, Jennifer Walters, attorney at law, the beginning of your turn. Choose one to last the entire turn. Sure. Outward perplex. Pretty good. Suggest friendly character. Safeguard outward perplex. Okay, that's nice. I like this a lot. 100 points for this. Team player. I like this better. The 50 point line. Um, we've got the charge plasticity at the back end. We don't really have this ability, but we've got this, uh, well, I'm not sure. We've got the movement elevated and destroy block brain. I'm not sure which one I like more. Um, this one has all the cool abilities, uh, but this one I like the point value more and is a little more lame. Uh, so I think you kind of have to run this with 100 point line. Just like Winter Hulk, evil Jennifer. Uh, green Fire, friendly standard characters that are adjacent to, adjacent or have the Winter Guard keyword can use poison. All right, so this is our Winter Guard thing. 
This is our Winter Guard Prime, basically. If you're playing the Winter Guard team, you're playing this figure. Charge Flurry on a Super or super Strength, 4 damage. Not bad. Battle Fury, traded. Or all along the bottom there. Close Combat Expert, when we're told KO's an opposing character, after losing move all action tokens from her. Will eat bystander teams alive with this Charge Flurry Poison. Okay. Friendly standard characters that are adjacent or have the uh, Winter Guard keyword you can use poison. So this gives all your Winter Guards, no matter where they are on the map, poison, and then also all adjacent characters poison. Then we got Dormammu to go with our Baron Mordo, Lord of yeah, he's a range piece. I figured he'd be a range piece, but you know, whatever. You can't get everything you want. Lord of Chaos, leadership. When Dormammu uses it, make a mindless one. Otherwise, generate a Baron Mordo uh, on click four if there's not already a Baron Mordo on the map already, or KO for the thing to heal him for two bucks. Okay, so he's got the same healing that the Baron Mordo does. Energy explosion, penetrate, psychic blast, knockback when he hits for. Each six in the attack roll, generate a mindless one or uh, unclick one adjacent to that hit character. That's not bad. Um, we get some probability control. I believe our Baron Mordor had probability control to try and hit those sixes, even if you're missing. Uh, no, he has to hit. Okay, he has to hit and then uh, check the sixes. So crits with this thing are crazy. Um, yeah, if you crit with this thing, I think you automatically win the game. Cosmic energy, mystics, invincible. Yeah, okay. Range combat expert, so a 13 for five. This throw is all right. He's not bad. Iron Man, beginning of your turn, choose one effect to last until your next turn. Three half speed move. Or safeguard out with, not bad. Energy explosion pulse wave, when Iron Man uses pulse wave, deals two damage instead of one. After resolution, we choose a hit character for each of Iron Man's action tokens. Remove one of Iron Man's action tokens. Give it to that character. Okay, this is pretty nice. Uh, shoulder mounted rockets and EMP burst. Yeah, that's not right. Uh, stop click, we've got three of those. Regeneration toughness super sensitive to succeed on four through six. Okay, I want to put this Iron Man versus that Hulk. Uh, they're both 200 points with three stop clicks. Just see who wins. Uh, it's going to be the Hulk because the Iron Man's going to try and run, uh, like range attack you, and then the Hulk's going to ignore that and run up at you and murder you. But that'd be very funny. A uh, Hulk build around team versus an uh, Iron Man build around team. That'd be quite cute. Then we've got Miss America Chavez. Hypersonic speed, but gain passenger two. Jesus Christ. Okay. Hypersonic passenger two with empower. Oh, God. 50 points. Oh, God. Combat reflex is toughest willpower. That's fine. That's fine. Movement blocking? Okay, okay. This is your Young Avengers or Avengers or Cosmic movement piece now. Jesus Christ. All right, all right, Miss America. Ghost Rider. We got poison. When Ghost Rider uses it, damage one or more opposing characters. Except for those of you who heal on one click. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Got that traded. Quake, Giant Reach 3. Pretty good. I don't believe the Giant Reach 3 will combo with the poison. If it does, that's broken. But I don't think it does. We got Mystic's ability. Stop it. It's one click on back. All right, not bad. Just to kind of... Normal figure. And Mortis, at the beginning of your turn, if there are no D6s on this card, roll this click on the card. Whenever a character within range rolls an attack roll, you remove the D6 of this card and place a die in the roll with it. That's not bad. Whenever any character. So if you roll high, you can replace your own. If you roll low, you can replace your opponents. And once per turn, when an opposing character within range line of fire attacks, before the attack roll is made, you may guess the, if the attack will hit at least one target or unless all targets. If you do, the attack can't be re rolled and after resolutions gain two mission points if you choose correctly. This is so, so funny. Oh my god. 65 points. I expected him to have like a uh, Holy Wave 10 1 damage based on the name and the dial looking like that, but it does not. Instead, uh, you could roll a 1 with this, then guess that it's going to miss, then replace their 1 with this. Um, it's only on opposing characters. It makes a within range and line of fire attacks. Okay. He can't see through everything, so you have to. It's the manual. It's the manual. This, this figure is very, very funny. Uh, if we pull this, we'll build something around this, but the figure's crazy. Sentry. Sentry will be KO'd. Instead, you replace him with Avengers Forever Sentry. The next one. On click 7, character gains immune until your next turn. That's not bad. That's really good. Because the problem with the, the when you die and turn into somebody is they just kill the thing you turn into. They score a billion points. Sentry's targeted by mind control, modifies defense minus 2. That's not good. Charge, stealth. Uh, on that first one's 12. Charge. Not bad. That's pretty good. Reflex, only target other friendly characters. When Sentry uses it, choose one of the targeted characters. Uh, choose one for the targeted character to use until you next turn. Charge or vulnerability. That's pretty good. Perplex up somebody so you give a movement attack. You give a charge. You give a melee movement attack for 150 points. And then when you die, you turn into movement destroy blocking. Targeting destroy blocking is really good. Uh, when Sentry hits an opposing character with a close attack, you roll a 10 or greater that wasn't re rolled by friendly characters after resolutions. Place that hit target in any square. Yeah, you do roll them on a little bit. That's funny. Uh, what we, where do we place them on? We place them on click 7. Click 7 is our last one. And a shiny attack blast, steal energy before close or range attacks. And since he uh, gains immune, he can't be just killed. And then you're going to heal. You're going to charge Flurry, heal up two potentially onto your range probability control. All right. That's a nice little combo. We got Gore the God Butcher. Deals penetrating damage characters that share a keyword with him or have a higher point value than him at 100 points. All right. That's funny. Um, charge Flurry Stealth shares a keyword with him as Assassin Cosmic Deity, so he assassinates the Cosmics and Deities. That's my fourth other theft, technically. 
Pulse Wave, when he uses it, each character that shares a keyword with him or has a higher point value is dealt damage equal to his printed damage value instead of one, and heal him one for each hit character. That's the four damage. The God Bomb. Yeah, this is a very funny piece. This is definitely a hard tech piece. It doesn't have any of the swapping keywords, which is probably good. Um, but yeah, this figure is very funny. There's potentially some shenanigans you can do with this by giving him keywords. We've got the unique Thanos. Thanos shall not roll alone. Thanos has to give, generate a Taraxia bystander. Bystander. All right, just cosmic, perplex, some charging. Not bad. Then it starts the game with six mortal tokens. At the end of your turn, roll be six. Re decrease the result by minus one for each of his mortal tokens. If you do gain missing points, equal the result, minimum zero. Okay, how do we remove these tokens? Because otherwise, you can't gain any. Uh, once per game, per event listed below. When that event occurs, remove one of his mortal tokens. That's that. When he uses willpower, it succeeds, which we have on our cosmic energy. When he hits an equipped character. When Taraxia is killed. When he heals two or more clicks in a single turn. Uh, which we're going to get on this regeneration for stock level. When he uses Impervious, it succeeds, which we'll only get on the top half. Uh, or our stock clicks. Our character's finalized attack roll is a crit miss. Okay, comboing this with Scarlet Jesus Christ. I just lost point one is 250. Okay, so hear me out. He's not mystical. I'll have to double check the... I'll have to double check the Scarlet Witch that can replace ones and the... Um, the Sinister that can replace ones. We'll see if they share any keywords with it. Because the Sinister's 40 and the Scarlet Witch is 50. So that would just be your 300 point team, and then you just make the miss, and then you just mission point, mission point, mission point, mission point. That's kind of funny. Kang the Conqueror. We're conquered, baby. Bystanders on this card are Kang through time, and each have max one leadership. When Kang the Conqueror uses it and succeeds, we generate a generate a Kang through time. Okay. Uh, you mean stats so that is replacement on the leadership. Um, any. Yeah, he's got the trade of leadership hiding right there. Crazy teleport. When he uses it and moves five squares or less, he would make an attack. That's pretty good. Super Sense's toughness when King the Conqueror uses Super Sense and succeeds after the Lucian's heal him one click. If six was rolled, heal him three clicks instead. Protected Outwit. All right. And then our Conqueror, we've got an Outwit, Ranged Attacker. We've got a Probability Control, uh, Precision Striker. And we've got a Perplex, uh, Sidestep Pulse Waver. All right. That's not bad. Into the chase. Soldier Supreme, once per turn, one or more friendly characters in the range, a lot of fire will be hit. You roll 2d6. If you do, you get higher. You attack on this is an all targets in one. That's not bad. That's pretty good. The watch fly of a Steven Rogers. Uh, yes, yeah, so these are our Warp World guys. So this looks like uh, probably Sorcerer Supreme Steven, or Steven Rogers, Sorcerer Supreme Captain America. Combat reflexes, energy shield deflection is vulnerable. At the end of your turn, choose close or range until your next turn with close character target. Soldier Supreme, that's him. With an attack that shows attack, modify the attack the next one. Yeah, okay. Okay, so he basically goes plus three on his defenses for one of them, and plus two for the other. That's pretty good uh, on that defense ability there. So we're going to 21s and 20s. The Howitzer of Hoggoth, leadership when Soldier Supreme uses it and succeeds, may also get one click on all adjacent friendly characters. That's pretty nice. Alright, I mean for 125 points. Soldier Supreme running with 75 point lines. Look, it's all the cool abilities. I like the 75 point line a lot better. Iron Hammer, Stark Odinson. Uh, okay, I mean Stark Iron Odinson. That's enough. Chest mounted Bifrost, Super Senses when Iron Hammer uses it and succeeds instead of making an attack. You may choose an opposing character with a range of line of fire to become the hit target. That's very funny. The Heimdall Guidance System, um, Penetrance Cycle Less Improved Targeting. Everything basically. When Iron Hammer hits with a ranged attack, after his loose to one penetrating damage to all untargeted opposing characters adjacent to target. So you do like a you blingo blast on one guy through everything, and then you mini energy explosion on them. Uh, it's one penetrating damage too, so that's a little better than energy explosion in some cases. Uh, invincible willpower protected at wit. Invincible willpower on 19 sounds good. Uh, and a super senses. Okay, yeah. And then we've got an exploit weakness when he hits with a close attack. After this, you either give each character an action token or they'll modify their attack by plus one. Minus one. After this, you choose one each character. We got triple targets on that melee. All right, this is interesting. He goes from the range of the melee, but he's got enough demon stuff. I don't care. I don't know. I'm not super big on this figure. He's probably good. He's a chase, but defenders, Mystic Spider-Man, Arachnite, Peter Parker, Moon Knight. I assume. Uh, the Arachnid, the Knight, the CEO, the Scientist. Uh, broke my yeah, midnight, yeah. Uh, stealth Super Senses, you choose one. You either get the Arachnid, similarly with Hypersonic, the Knight with Flurry, the CEO with Shape Change, and the Scientist without Wit. Uh, I don't need help, I need targets. Precision Strike once per turn. When Arachnid KOs an opposing character, you may roll a d6 on a 3 through 6. Choose an opposing character, then place him and choose another character, make a plus stack for another character. Holy, okay, it's once per turn. So you can't just like infinite chain into bystanders and close retaliators. But that's still really good. Choose any opposing character. Yeah, it's not with a range one, you just teleport yeah. uh, Stop regeneration, toughness, willpower. All right, we got the we got the stop oh, with a willpower click. Not bad. We got willpower on the back end. Got the Spider-Man team ability, so we are a wild card to pick up anything useful that we might want. Perplex probability control. This is a nice style. I like this. Targeting through elevated, moving through elevated characters. I like this a lot. This is a pretty good figure. The sixty-point line. 
We still have the teleporting thing on our top one. We have a stop click halfway through. We've got a probability control. I, like, I probably like this one a little better. Then we've got the Ghost Panther. Uh, we've gone a, uh, a entire thing on the Ghost Panther already on our uh, World's 2022 info video. So check that out for our thoughts there. Miss Kang, Kamala Kang. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, shape change, when she uses it after resolutions, you make KO a number of friendly chrono chronal echo bystanders to increase the result by X or X number of chronal echo bystanders. Okay, okay. Assuming they're gonna make those. Probability control when she uses it after resolutions, make a, make a thing, okay. Stop barrier, when Kang would take damage from an attack, you instead KO a friendly thing within range and then place Kang. Okay, that's really good on the stop click. Um, but she would take damage from an attack, so you can still poison her, she doesn't have a reducer. Yeah, there's a couple ways to get through this, but that, this piece is hard to kill. You just got a probability control, summon a chronal echo, they hit her, even after the prompt sometimes. Prompt is traded, you got perplex, you can perplex up your defense. This is pretty good, I like this a lot. Super senses, probability control, only if no other. Okay, yeah, that's that's really good. I know this happens, just not now. That's funny that they continued on with that thing. This figure's really good. Um, obviously it's a 50 point prime unique, so yeah, it's gonna be good, but, or chase unique, sorry, obviously. Unique. Little monster, Scott Banner, that's funny, uh, Hulk. Hulk and man. Uh, the matter I get, the smaller I get. When Little Monster hits or is hit, give him a Jade Germ token. Little Monster can use following effects based on the number of Jade Germs tokens. Tiny damage symbol, then Super Senses, then Close Combat Expert, then when he rolls for Super Senses, after rolling, you remove any number of Jade Germ tokens to increase result by that roll, and then heal him equal damage. That's pretty good. He's a monster. We can mind control him with Mole Man and give him Jade Germ tokens since he is hit by the attack. Then he can mind control one over, hit somebody, get another Jade Germ token. Then when he head attacks again, he gets another Jade Germ token. So we can give him three Germ tokens each turn. Then we've also got Charge Flurry, so we can't do that in the Mind Control, but we can do four. Okay, we can give four tokens over here. When adjacent friendly character makes a range attack after resolution, so you may place a little monster adjacent to a hit target. Okay, so we don't... Okay, that's funny. Um, as a close action, we can destroy all blocking terrain within three squares, make a close attack target all opposing characters within three squares. Each of characters dealt three damage instead of normal damage. All right. Um, I don't know... I assume that's just one hit and not multiple hits. Otherwise, we're going to get a billion germ tokens and heal um, yeah, interesting. This is funny. Green Widow! Uh, Green Lantern? No. Who's the Green? Hulk Black Widow? Maybe? Green Room Training in My Blood? Law School in My Mind? Oh, She Hulk. She Hulk Black Widow. Okay. Uh, freeze. Uh, choose a set of colors and then choose one standard power matching each color. Uh, Green Widow can choose chosen powers. Green and Lime Green or Black and Red. That is very funny. This is very funny. Uh, Leap Climb when Green Widow is given a move action after resolution to generate a hindering marker in your square and if she can fire for the less, you make attack. Okay. That's pretty. Good. After losing, okay, and she's got stealth, presumably. Uh, she's got destroy blocking. Uh, with the black red, we've got stealth. Yeah, because we can charge in move action. I don't, again, I don't think this triggers after the. We choose green lime, and then we charge in, and then we can generate a hindering, and then we attack, and then with a quake, and then we choose black red, and we get stealth outwit. This is the, the, the really good damage powers here. I mean, you get exploit weakness enhancement. That's not crazy. Um, the outwit and the. Um, Range combat expert, yeah, not great. The outweight here is good. The black is nice, and the green is nice. I'm not sure about the black here or the red. Um, you get super sense on the red. Trade knockback, which he knocks back. One or more characters should be choose the direction of the knockback, and after resolution, you can place or adjacent to that character. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, you just get to punch somebody. All right, then we got Dormammu Red. We got the Supreme Strategist. When Dormammu Red hits, give him a plotting token. Oh, this is, uh, this is Dormammu Red Skull. That's funny. When he hits, give him a plotting token. He considers characters with X, X squares to be adjacent for X number of plotting characters on him. Uh, leadership, Mastermind Poison. Okay, so you can do Mastermind of the Poison. Priest of Hell. That's funny. When Dormammu Red uses leadership, succeeds, you can make a Hydra Agent or a Mindless One. Uh, for six is rolled, you can make both. Okay. 250 points on this motherfucker. Invincible. When Dormammu Red is hit by an attack, the attacker immediately gains a mobile until the next turn, even if power is lost. Very funny. You get a lot on that 19 Invincible. Drag it to the Dark Manage. Uh, perfect plan, perfectly executed. Outwit perplex. When a one red hits with an attack, you remove up to three body tokens, increase the damage dealt. Jesus Christ. That does so much damage. That's eight damage. This figure's a million points. What's his low dial? 100 points. We still have the probs. I like this a lot better, obviously. 250 points is an insane amount of points. And lastly, we've got the limited edition Invincible Ant Man. We've got the world's most wanted archaeologist. Um, yeah, it's Tony Stark Ant Man. Uh, once per game, as a free action, if Invincible Ant Man occupies an opposing starting area, uh, you may equip him with equipment from your sideline of 10 points or less. That's that's very funny. Okay, there's ways to abuse that. We can definitely teleport him into our opponent's starting with a couple different figures. Phase and teleport when he uses it with five scores or less, you may make a cost back. Okay, there's definitely ways to get him over there super fast. You can get him there in one turn. Well, that wraps up our first look at all the figures. I'm not going to go through the playing cards because I feel like there's some missing. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited about this Hydra Agent stuff. 
Uh, Infinity Pulse Waiver seems crazy for 15 points. Um, there was the Hydra Officer that can summon them. Uh, there was the Soldier Team Team ability with this Red Guardian that seems crazy. Um, and Power or Enhancement, all Winter Guards. Uh, so our Winter Guard Soldier Team seems nuts. So it's just they gave us a Prime for that. Uh, in, I believe, Winter Hulk? Yeah. Winter Hulks are... Uh, she's not a soldier. Ooh, that's very annoying. All right, well, we'll figure something out there. Uh, Swordsman is pretty cool. All the chases are obviously pretty nice. I like a lot of those. Um, this Thanos is uh, 250 points for a lot of bullshit. Very funny. Um, I do like the Swordsman comboing with Kui, who we did not get in this set. So you do have to backlog your Kui into um, uh, War of the Realms. I believe he's in Chase in that set. So good luck on that one. We'll probably jump the price on that thing. Which um, there's a bunch of cool stuff from this set that I'm very excited about. Notably, Wonder Man teaming up with Beast. There's no Beast in this set. Interesting. All right. Um, well, that was our my first look at this set. I'm very excited about a lot of these. Very excited to build some teams around a lot of these. Um, some Astral Projection stuff with Doctor Strange. Some Mystic stuff, giving our monsters our Mystic team ability. Uh, some Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. stuff. Some Hydra stuff. Very, very interesting stuff all the way around. Very excited for that. And... We will hope that you guys pull any of the pieces you want at your pre-releases this weekend, and we will see you guys with the next video. Peace.